Hey guys, we're down in the shop here again today, and I just want to show you the, how we're progressing with my little crossover SUP boat. And uh, it's coming out pretty good so far. It's all fiberglass now, and uh, we use the very thin fiberglass for the most part, but a six ounce on the pontoons, uh, what they call a half ounce on the on the front on the on the inside in this section here look how thin this is and it's pretty much all set up a little bit it's still a little tacky it's just gonna dry but it's coming along pretty nice now I want to tell you I was able to glue this together pretty easily and gluing it together so that if she doesn't um, fall apart Gorilla Glue came out with a new glue. It's called a wood glue. And what I found with this wood glue is that this stuff sets up so fast. It's like you just put a moderate amount. It's got a great nozzle, which, which allows you just to press it right on. And you can uh, you'd be amazed. You put two pieces of wood together, and it sticks together. Uh, you still have to clamp it, but it really... Uh, it sets up well. So like if you wanted to edge glue two pieces of quarter inch together, you can because it sets up that fast. You just let it sit there for a while. And the next thing you know, you got it pretty much all, you know, uh, it, it, it's very difficult to break it apart even though it's a quarter inch edge glued. Then for the foam, which the foam here that we used, we used the original Gorilla Glue. The original Gorilla Glue is, is kind of like a cyanoacrylate glue. And what this stuff is kind of almost expands like a foam. And this stuff is impossible to separate. It's waterproof. So what you're seeing is the wood part of this boat, which is the bottom section, or the, the top of the boat when you flip it over, right? That's done with the wood glue because you used it for wood. But it's also a waterproof wood glue. The foam part, which is part that's in the water, all glued with this. And uh, either one of these products is very, very incredibly good. I'm going to post a link so that you guys can uh, check it out. The wood glue is very reasonable. In fact, I, I, I uh, strongly use a, a Type Bond or Elmer's. We have plenty of Type Bond around. And uh, Type Bond glue, excellent product. This dries hard. Whereas most uh, wood glues, like Elmer's, I don't have an Elmer's bottle, but Elmer's uh, wood glue, dries uh, a little softer. It's not soft, it dries hard, but it's softer. And uh, the difference is when you're sanding, if you had to sand it, the uh, type on sands uh, much, uh, is, is, is probably easier to sand because it doesn't goo it, it, when it heated up. Okay, but anyway, that's my uh, take on glues. I hope it helps you guys to figure out what glue you want to use for what purpose. And uh, using the right glue for the right f thing could be the formula for, for success. Thank you. Bye. Okay, going through these pictures real quick, we're setting up the foams uh, for the pontoons here. You glue them with the uh, Gorilla Glue, with the uh, waterproof glue. glue. And uh, those are the fronts of the pontoons before shaping. And here's the uh, the back, the centers. We glue the centers, put a little weight on them. And um, the uh, Gorilla Glue really sticks well. You can't argue with that. And it's waterproof. The, um, the whole thing really just does a great job. Uh, it takes a long time to set up to do the uh, foams because you have to do each one individual. So you, you only could stick two pieces of foam down at a time. And now we're fiberglassing. We used some six ounce on the pontoons and then half ounce in the middle. And my idea is because we want to make it the ultra light, we're using this ultra light uh, fiberglass. That's the half ounce right there. And it really works well. It, uh, it's a little difficult to use at first, but once you get used to doing it, it's fine. And we use that with the West system. The 205 uh, hardener and the 102 epoxy 
probably the best epoxy in the market, and it really works well. Thank you.